What is Walmart doing? I think I might have an idea. Let's discuss. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano. Today we are drinking the 100% Colombian Kroger coffee. Uh, it is my last batch of Kroger coffee. Going to take a little bit of a break from it. If you have to hit pause to get your coffee together, go ahead and do so now. We got something uh, I think is a bit important to discuss here. Uh, what is Walmart doing? And many other stores, too. Now, we have seen Walmarts all around the country. We've been getting comp flooding comments from you guys on the channel here of Walmart doing refurbishments, closing stores, adding things to existing stores. We're seeing self-checkouts blow up in the stores like never before. Over the last few months, our Walmart has built, I don't know, it seems like 50 self-checkouts. They have like, I don't know, maybe 10 regular checkouts with cashiers, maybe less. I don't know, but I was at Walmart the other day and there was two cashiers open and none, oh, I'm sorry, one self-checkout was working. One. They had all the other ones blocked off. Now, this is the third time in a row that I have been to Walmart when they have done this. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. What are they doing? Now, we have... You know, a few things to talk about with Walmart here, but let's discuss at first what these other stores are doing also. Over the last few months, we've also seen Aldi install a bunch of self-checkouts. Not a bunch, six to be total. Uh, and then they still have one cashier. Some people would rather wait in that really long line for that one cashier than to do the self-checkouts. Now, we've been hearing a lot of issues, a lot of problems with Aldi self-checkouts. I myself have never had an issue but I can't, sometimes I don't have time to wait an hour and that might be stretching a little bit. They're, you know, they're usually pretty fast at Aldi, but you know, it takes a long time to wait in that long line. But anyway, Walmart is, I don't know what, the, I, I do kind of know what they're doing. At least I think I know the direction they're going. They don't want us to shop there. They, they're doing this because they want you to shop online. They want you to complain enough to the point to where you're sick of it and you won't leave your couch. They want to bring the items to you. They want you to take part in their new uh, systems where you pay for a subscription, you pay for this, you pay for that, and they want you to sit on your couch and just order online. Guys, that is the way everything is going. Um, I'm not surprised one bit. I'm actually surprised that we don't have drones dropping off packages Oh, wait a minute. That's next, isn't it? That's right. The AI age is coming into effect, and I think Walmart is going to play a big part in a lot of these things, along with Amazon and some other big, huge stores and uh, across the country, across the world. I mean, this is the new thing. Now, let me explain why I do believe that this is going to happen, or it is happening. Because how much did it really cost them to build all these self-checkouts? I mean, there's a ton of them, but do you, does this sound familiar? You go into a Walmart, you go into self-checkout, and it's like, where's the room? I have a cart full of stuff here. Where am I supposed to put it all? So you have one bag, right? And you, you got to keep taking each bag off to put it in your cart. And let's not forget that you're doing your own work here. And prices are going up, right? The, the same thing that we always hear is, oh, well, this is what we're doing to cut costs so that prices are cheaper. That is not the case at all. If you believe that, I'm sorry. Um, you know, these things are happening constantly with Walmart. And I, I hate to see it like this. Look at some of the refurbishments. I've taken a look at some of the different Walmarts that have had refurbishments. They look exactly like ours. And I've heard from, I've heard many different stories. Some people say it's to deter crime. It's to do this, do that. I know they're playing music a lot louder. That's supposed to deter crime. You know, I don't really know. I don't know if that's the case or not. Is that it? Or do they just want you to stop shopping at the store and shop online? I really do believe that that is the case. I mean, they've built all these self-checkouts and they're never open. Never. There's employees standing around not doing anything. Well, maybe not doing anything, but they look like they're not. I don't want to say that they're not doing anything, but it's like, are you waiting for like a huge crowd to come in here? Guys, I was here, I was at Walmart a couple days ago and they had two checkouts open, two checkout lanes and one self-checkout, making it look like there wasn't an issue. I don't think there was an issue. 
I, I don't know what it is or why it is. All I know is, is that it was a major headache. I ended up putting the couple things that I had back. I'm not that kind of person that leaves my stuff and just leaves. I took it back and I left. I was like, you know what? Today's just not the day. I wasn't going to wait an hour in line. And, and as soon as I started to leave, they did open up. To be fair, they did open up another checkout, but not the self-checkouts. And it's like when we first started going to Walmart, when they finally opened those self-checkouts, they were all open for like, I don't know, a couple few weeks. And, and I saw managers that I'd never seen there before. So they were probably overwatching all of this stuff. Now, now there's none open. There's none. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, I don't understand what is going on. And then I started thinking, started thinking, they don't want us to shop here. They want us to buy this stuff online. They want to quit shopping at the stores. People who don't know how Walmart works, Walmart puts together the cheapest way to build a store possible so that in case they ever have to close a store, it makes it real easy to tear down. That has always been how Walmart is. And, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate. But look at the way the aisles are now. How they run like parallel with the store. There's no like direct line aisles. Like I can't just get to the men's clothing anymore. I can't just get to the women's clothing anymore. I have to go through like a maze of aisles, like kitchen stuff that is in a weird spot. Now the groceries, we'll get to that here in a second. Okay. But all of the different things, like they have like all the different medicines, they move the pharmacy up toward the front. And okay, if you're trying to deter some of the crime and stuff like that, I, I get that. But there's so many different things going on here that I feel like this is what it's leaning toward. Like once enough people stop shopping there, that will give them the okay to just shut the store down, knowing that, okay, all of these people are ordering online, right? Because they know they can probably track where your card number has been, right? Each store. And they see all of those cards now that are ordering online. The more and more they add that up, is it really about crime? Is it really about uh, wanting to make things convenient for you? Yeah, they want to make it convenient, all right, where you're just sitting at home watching TV ordering online. Now, I understand a lot. It's good for a lot of people. Online stuff is good for a lot of people. However, I think it takes away from some of the shopping at the store. Okay, for one, I mean, I kind of got that feeling myself when I was there. And I love, you guys know, I love shopping. I am in the stores every day. It's my job to, to explain everything going on in the stores, things that are going up in price. And that's, that's the other thing. We see stuff going up in price constantly at Walmart. When they say that it's not, when, when we keep hearing that it's going to be coming down, you can't, you can't lower a couple things and say, well, we lowered our prices. It just don't work like that. You know, if you lowered like maybe half of your grocery options, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. They're, they're doing something. But when all you see is a silly rollback offer on stuff that people traditionally don't buy all the time. I mean, you know, I don't know how many people buy produce from Walmart, but I mean, even if you do, you're not really saving much. And and I've what another thing I've noticed is stuff on rollback offers at Walmart that are in, in produce. Stuff that looks like it's been sitting there for months. To, you know, let me know down in the comments if you have seen these kind of things as well. But guys, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of people about this. I get the same answers. Nobody likes the self-checkouts. But at Walmart, they feel like they don't have a choice. Now, when I talk, and this was before they did uh, mostly self-checkouts. Now, it's now it's, it's pretty much all self-checkouts except for a few. And if they're even open, if the registers are even open, the cashiers. I mean, anybody could have walked in that store. And, and this is what I'm going to do from now on. If I'm just shopping at Walmart, I'm going to look and see what the front of the store looks like. And if I see like two rows of people going halfway through the store, I'm just going to leave. If you do that enough, you're going to get sick of it. Spending the gas to get there, you know, in the right mood and in the right mode to go shopping, you know, Christmas time here. You know, I mean, we got stuff, Walmart sells stuff a lot cheaper than other places, especially when it comes to Christmas items. Maybe this is what they wanted. They want us to go in there, see how much of a hassle it is even more. They want it to look worse than when they 
uh, didn't have the self checkouts. I mean, they got to be open for you to even experience what that is. And I got to say, the self checkouts at Walmart is not a good experience. Now, as to where I haven't had an issue, I've seen several people have issues, right? People with full carts and then having to take one bag, throw it somewhere, move your stuff in the cart further forward in your cart so that you can do one bag at a time and just put it in your cart. And boy, if that screen freezes, because they they're all recording you. And if it freezes, like, I don't know if it thinks like you're taking something or something like that. I don't know. Then, then you have to have an employee come over and, and correct it on the screen that, no, here's the product and all that different stuff. Kroger does that too. Uh, if something is scanned and then he, the, the screen freezes, it'll take a picture of you. It'll hold that picture until somebody comes and fixes it, thinking that you put something in your cart. You know, and it's to where I understand this is to, you know, to get people to not steal things. It's, it's becoming more of a hassle than what it's worth making you want to shop at home, right? I mean, in, <laughs> it, 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 it's not just a coincidence, guys. This is the way the world is going. And I'm, I'm making an issue with this because of how many of our viewers have been complaining about self-checkouts self at Walmart, but not just Walmart, everywhere. Another one that I always have an issue with and I've never talked about is Meyer. Meyer always has issues with their self-checkouts, but they're turning into Walmart. They'll have like one or two registers open. And they got the same bagging system that Walmart has where they the, the cashier bags your stuff and they spin it around the wheel. Well, if you got more than 10, 20 items, you're going to be sitting there all day, even if you're first in line. I, you know, it, it, it makes me sick with Meyer because Meyer didn't used to be like that. And their self-checkouts have just, I, I don't go in there when two or three of them, at least two of them are always down right? They have two sets of six. They have six up front or by the groceries, and then they have six all the way in the back. Both sides will be two, sometimes three of them that aren't working. And there's always like two or three of them that only accept your card. Oh, and let's not even get in. Aldi, Aldi, you have to use a card. You cannot pay cash on those self-checkouts. I don't like that. I don't like that. I know a lot of you guys don't like it either. Now, Walmart... Um, you know, there's some funny things with Walmart. So if you use a debit card and you have a passcode, it never asks you for your passcode. It just takes the payment. I don't like that at all. I like for somebody to be able to have to put in a pin code so that, you know, that's your security. That's like the last, um, little thing of security to get through it. At Walmart, it doesn't do that. It just takes it like you're at a restaurant or something. I don't know. I don't trust that at places like Walmart. And I don't really like the way things are going. Um, and they're going to constantly be pushing online stuff. They already are, right? You're going to always... And, and the thing is, is places like, you know, Walmart, they make it like it's an issue. They make it like it's an issue if you, like, say something online is cheaper than in the store. They make an issue of that at Walmart, now, if you find the right person or the right manager, they may be able to do something about it. But everywhere else I've ever been, it's never been an issue. Meyer, Target, Kroger. Kroger's getting a little, uh, getting a little bad with that too. We, we there was a lot of digital coupons apparently for people that didn't work last week, and Kroger was going back checking this different things, uh, taking stickers down that were expired, still honoring the stickers. You know, because they, they'll they say that that's not... But you have to get a manager. And this time of year, there's a lot of grocery shoppers. You may have to, you know, wait a while to get a manager and stuff like that. Guys, I, I know... And, and I don't have any problem ordering stuff online. In some ways, this makes me want to shop online even more. Isn't that funny? Someone that prides themselves in going to the stores. And it's basically their job, right, to do this. And it's like, well... You know, online is going to be the way of the future, and I feel like a lot of this, uh, di a lot of these different things going on with these stores are really pushing the online ordering, especially Walmart. Walmart is going to do anything it can to cut cost. Maybe even that could be why they're selling things cheaper online on a lot of things than they are in the store. 
another reason to lean you that direction to order online. But anyway, guys, short coffee rant today. Just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. We get, we get thousands of comments on this. And I was like, you know what? We're going to put this into a short video. We need to talk about this a little bit. It just kind of hit me the other day. I was like, you know what? Are they... These refurbishments and stuff don't cost that much. Oh, yes. And let's talk about the groceries for a second. Okay. In every Walmart, every comment that I've gotten about the Walmart refurbishments, everybody has said the same thing. Products are disappearing or getting smaller. No pun intended. Not to not with shrinkflation. I mean, yeah, they are with shrinkflation, but I mean, you know, they're condensing things because they're not getting in as much. We see the issues with the pasta. Sugar has been condensed to almost nothing. What are they seeing here? What are they expecting? Are they just going to sell less sugar? Walmart can do this stuff at a drop of a hat. Some other stores can't. Uh, but yes, store the aisles at Walmart have expanded. They are not as tight, meaning there's not as much product because they're it's the same it's the same part of the store, but they've widened the aisles and there's a lot less stuff. Even though it's hard to pin what is missing? There's a lot of products that Walmart just isn't selling anymore. It's just not a lot of things that people ever really ask about or that I shop there for. They really know what they're doing, guys. They really know. They've they've cut so many things down. Look at it does you don't have to look too hard. Look at Walmart's bread aisle. <laughs> like, I don't know what yours looks like, but our bread that they have is like next to nothing. Like there's a bunch of great value bread and then like a few loaves of Sara Lee. And well, actually they put like a little little stand for Sara Lee, but not much. They have a little bit of butternut bread, but we've been seeing butternut bread and Sunbeam fly off the shelves and not come back. We're seeing stores condense these aisles even more. And for a store as big as Walmart, I feel we're going to be seeing more and more of these kind of things, things disappearing, you know, and, and they've done this ahead of time. So now that they're able to work in the space, it looks better. It's more spread out. Look at the Del Monte. I mean, they have more Del Monte at Walmart than I've ever seen in my life. And less and less great value. People have been leaving comments about that too. Finding less and less great value canned vegetables. And I will say that we are in the holiday season here. So that could be why. Maybe people are wising up and stocking up on some of these things while we're still finding them for 64 cents a can. I don't know, guys. It's getting cold. It's getting to be winter time here. Let's not forget to stock up on some of the things that we need. Um, we're going to be doing a video on uh, different kinds of things to stock up on here later on. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. All the likes on the channel really help spread our videos out all around the world. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.